that has a, a psychological aspect, and then the, when the spirit and the, the soul is balanced in, in the Amhara or Amhara eyes individual in its true and its, and its most perfect examples that we have from Ethiopian history, do we get this blending, you understand, of the people as in one identity, in an identity that's known as the Ethiopian Commonwealth. Now, what the Europeans have done, and somewhat successfully up to the present moment, you understand, is divide one group against the, the next. In fact, the Bible says that one thing the Almighty hates is those who seek to kind of uh, tail bearers um, to cause brother to fight against brother. You understand? And it seems that many of the Europeans, not all, but many of the Europeans, especially when they were seeking to uphold certain um, foreign um, governments, orange governments, their own white supremacist government, had a, a an intent, and men, much of this can be proven, you understand, whether we talk about the Jesuits, when the Jesuits came into Ethiopia, and how there were such religious wars, now they're using a cultural way, you understand, of dividing one group, you understand, versus the other, and using ignorance, because a lot of our people are ignorant when we talk about Habasha, Habasha, you understand, what does Habasha mean, how, did, how does the word Habasha and Abisha link with the, the Ottoman Turkish Habeshistan, Habashistan, Habeshistan. Did you know that there was a Habeshistan? Do you know about the history of the Ottoman Turks? You understand? And what they did that, that laid the groundwork for this ongoing divide and conquer strategy against that God-blessed land and that God-blessed people. So, the Amhara is as much a tribe as American is a tribe. But America, what links people to an American idea is certain ideas. You understand the American ideal, the American identity is certain ideas. You understand um, whether people say an idea of freedom and democracy, of, of ability to pursue your dream or owning your own home. And people may, different people will say a lot of different things, but there's these ideas of having freedom you understand, of having rights. Whether people actually get these freedoms or rights, that's a whole other thing. Some people do, some people don't. Some people say, oh, that's all bullshit. Well, other people say, no, the American dream worked for me. You understand? So in the same sense, we must view this idea of Amhara and Amhara Sultane. It is more appropriate and more academically and historically and factually correct to view the Amhara idea in the way we have expressed it in this simple example of the northern Tigray and Shemitic movement from north further in, into Africa, you understand, further into Africa with the southern, you understand, meeting the southern push of the Hamitic or Kamitic Oromo, you understand, or the Cushitic, they would say Cushitic peoples, you understand, meeting in this highland region, and both of them, both of these peoples, and over time, and with, you know, good days and bad days, you know, sometimes the people, I mean, and it's so interesting for one to say that, well, it was Ethiopia, and the idea of Ethiopia is about some oppression against the Ottomans is, is quite frankly false. Did it happen in certain ways? Yes. But in some cases, it was by other automobiles. So something to think about.
Yeah, yeah. 